sound linking. In speaking, sounds between words can become linked. The result can sound like one new word. When the first word ends in a consonant and the next word begins with a vowel, the two words may share the consonant. Can I? Can I? Can I have some food? Will I? Will I? Will I ever get married? If I. If I? If I work hard, I will be successful. Can eat. Can eat. I can eat a lot of food. This also occurs when the second word begins with H. Ask her, ask her, kiss her, kiss her, kiss him, kiss him, ask her to kiss him. Tell her to ask him to kiss her. Listen to sound blending with the word you. A D sound followed by a Y makes a J sound. Could you? Could you pass me the salt? Should you? Should you really be drinking now? Now listen to a T sound followed by a Y. It makes a CH sound. Put your, put your, put your stuff down over there. But your, but your, but you're not even trying to help. Another common example of sound linking comes from and. In speaking, and is almost always pronounced as n. The n sound links two words, me and him, me and him. My dog and everyone else, my dog and everyone else. Remember, not everyone uses sound linking, and no one uses it all the time. It varies from person to person, and region to region. Now, listen carefully to these sentences. Try to write down what you hear in the comments. For example, if I say, tell her to kiss him, you should write, tell her to kiss him. Number one, would you just hurry up and ask her out? Number two, you can eat while I sit for a bit. Number three, I heard Sarah and John went to the movies together.